In this video, we're going to be talking about how we did the tiling of the niche. In particular, we're going to be spending time on how to get the proper measurements on these surface tiles so that when you come back later and finish the niche, that you have the proper measurements to cover these inside tiles correctly. So in this example, we're going to be, we're going to be putting all the surface tiles on first, coming back, doing the back plane of the niche, then we're going to do the upper, the two sides, and the bottom tiles in, in the niche itself. So we'll show you how to take all the proper measurements and we'll go over that sequencing uh, in the following video. Today we're going to be tiling around the, the niche and uh, you need to decide if you're going to take the tiles inside the wall of the niche and leave them flush this way or if you're going to do the other way and put these these wall tiles on top if you're handling a stone like marble your cut edges are the same finish as the uh, tile itself and it really doesn't matter which way you do it it's what look you decide you're going to want I prefer the look where the tile on the wall overlaps the tile inside the niche so that you get a, a finished edge where you're only seeing the tile on the wall. So the best way to take a measurement is to put another piece of tile here and then I'm going to measure from this point to Make sure your tile looks like it's going to be in place. So measure from this point to here and it tells me where I need to make my cut. Okay, now you have to allow, again, I'm going to have a 1 spacer here. So I need to subtract that out of my, my measurement. But then I need to add the thickness of the thin set I'm using to put on this wall here. So, I'm using a one quarter by one quarter by one quarter trial for that. So when I put that mastic in there, I'm gonna use this trial. Now remember, you're holding it at a 45 degree angle. So you're not gonna have one quarter inch thick uh, mastic once you set the tile. Your grooves, you're holding this at an angle, your grooves are gonna be about 0.7 times uh, a uh, quarter inch. So you're going to be probably 3 sixteenths or 1 eighth. So what I would allow would be about 1 eighth inch for the, for the thickness of this uh, mastic after you're setting the tile. And what you want to do is if you miss it either direction, you want to make sure you overshoot this. Okay, so if I'm going to miss it, I want to miss it by an eighth of an inch over. If I'm too short, then my tiles are going to meet up where this inner tile is not fully covered by this edge, and that's going to look really bad. If I overshoot it by a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch, and I, I'm going to set this tile later, I can build up the mastic enough to, to get it to match. But again, if I'm too short, it's going to be, going to be a problem. I want to make sure I'm long, if anything. So I'm getting four inches exactly. I have four inches. Plus I'm adding three sixteenths of an inch for my thickness of my uh, thin set inside the wall to push that tile out that much further. And I'm subtracting the, the grout gap here, which is 1 16th of an inch. So that makes that 2 16ths, which is 1 8th. So I'm 4 and 1 8th for this measurement right here that I'm going to have before I cut this tile. So I'm going to go 4 and 8th and cut my next tile. And I'm going to do the same thing taking the other measurements. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. 
And then I'm going to, on the bottom side, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure from here to here, subtract my grout line, add my thin set, and do it on all three sides. And then we're going to tile this whole wall in and then come back and finish the niche when we're done. Um, I'm going to say that when it's angled for the water to run off, instead of this being nine and three quarter, it's going to be about nine, it's going to be one sixteenth less than nine and three quarter. So it's nine and eleven sixteenths for measurement from here to here when it's angled. I'm going to take off my grout line, 1 16th of an inch. And then I'll have a grout line up here too. It's going to be 1 16th of an inch. So take off another 1 16th. Then add back 3 16ths for the thickness of the inset underneath this bottom top. So I have. 9 and 11 minus 1 16th, 1 16th, minus 1 16th, minus 1 16th, plus 3 16th. So a net addition of 1 16th, which makes my 9 and 11 16th, 9 and 12 16th, and that's 9 and 3 quarter. So that's my measurement from my cut here to here. This measurement, I'm, I'm measuring from this edge of my tile to make my cuts. And again, I want my, my overshoot to be above this tile to this edge right here. So if I measure that, I'm 16 and 5 sixteenths. I lose 1 sixteenth here. So that's 16 and 4 sixteenths. Add three back for the thickness of my mastic. So that's 16 and 7 sixteenths. So, and you gotta do a little bit of math, but do it all in the same sixteenths of an inch and you just add and subtract them together pretty easy. And with those measurements, we're ready to go cut our tiles. And a little bit on taking the measurements around the niche. It's probably the most sensitive area as far as where you're cutting and trying to get things lined up. So take your time and uh, make sure you get that right. Okay, I'll put the towel that I cut for the, for the niche out. I'll put it back in place to test the distance. I put my uh, spacers between my two tiles. It is no spacer here, but that elevation doesn't matter. But when I put this tile back in there and I look at it, I know you can't see on the camera, but I have about three, almost three sixteenths of an inch overlap here. And that's going to allow for the thickness of the thin set. On this side, I have the same thing. So with my thin set, this tile will go on the inside here and it will sit flush underneath this edge right here. So the reason I put this tile back up here is to get the measurements for the next tile. Because what I really want to do is make sure that the edge, this straight edge along this lines up perfectly so it looks good. So I'm going to get another tile. We're going to put it up there and see how it looks. And then we'll take our measurements. Okay, my next tile is going to start here on the left hand side. I'm going to walk up to the wall. All right there, so I'm going to put a piece of tape just to help hold it in place for me. Now what I'm going to do is take a uh, level. <clears throat> and I know I want this line here to be perfectly level going up the niche. So 
I'm gonna put my level right here on this edge. And it's going to be an easy tile to cut. Now I just have, you know, one cut to make and it's going to line up perfectly with this edge and be level when I level out the, uh, the tiles on the inside. So that's how you do that one. We'll come next and we'll do the same thing on, well, this one. Now we're going to put our next tile in. We want the drive lines to stay somewhat symmetrical so I'm going to put this edge at the same edge as the drive line down here. It doesn't have to be perfect. <coughs> I'm take this up here so it doesn't fall while I get a level. Again, I'm going to do the same thing here. I'll put my level right there on the edge. Making sure I get my bubble perfectly where I want it. Okay, trying to get the level exactly. So smooth, the tile is so smooth, the level wants to move, so I gotta be careful. So we'll make these two cuts, the next two tiles will be ready. And what I decided to do is to create a pattern with three layers of marble tiles that I've cut smaller. And I've cut them in thirds of when you're, when you're looking at putting tiles in place, you normally overlap one third. So I'm going to have three rows here with the one third overlap. And that's what we're going to put in place here for the uh, niche. One thing I also did is, uh, you can see this is the bottom row. The shorter tile will be the middle, and the longer tile will be the top. And that's because the top and bottom tile is going to have another cross tile that's going to hide part of the elevation. So what I did was the part your eye will see will look the same as the middle tile when we're finished.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Let that uh, sit, get hard. And we'll come in and put the uh, top in next. It'll be flush with the inside of this section right here. We'll put the two sides in next to hold it in place. And then the last piece we put in will be the bottom piece. Okay, today we're gonna finish the niche. Uh, the upper tile is already in here and that's what the tape was holding in place. And I let it sit overnight to get hard. What we're gonna do next is we're gonna put the two side pieces in. Again, they're gonna come and they're gonna sit inside of this edge. So we have one clean edge we're looking at when the niche is finished. And same thing for this one. It's gonna go in there and be flush also on the back side. And then we're gonna finish it off with the bottom piece. And the bottom piece is gonna This. It's going to go over this lip because we want to make sure water goes over the tile and down the side. And we're going to tilt it a little bit to make sure the water runs to the front edge. So we're going to go ahead and do that and our niche will be finished. I'm using it as a square off the back wall and that pushes it flat and perpendicular to this, this outer wall. So it is. It's an easy way to get a perfect alignment. We have the two sides in. We uh, have checked that both sides are level. So we're good to go there. What we're going to do now is we're going to put the bottom piece in. We want the bottom to slope down about an eighth of an inch. And I've checked it with the uh, level, and that would work pretty well. What I've got to do it was to all I'm using is some uh, spacers. These are about one eighth of an inch. So I just put three of them in the back and I'm gonna embed them in the uh, thin set and then put this tile up and we should be done.
seen some videos where the niche tiles, side tiles stick out in the front. I like to look better when they're, uh, they're pushed to the back. The only tile that sticks over the surface tiles is the front ledge for the, uh, the bottom tile where it drains. I want that drain edge to be over the front, right even with the front of the forward tile. So again, we're done.